Hi guys, uh, Patrick here. Today's video will be my bookshelf tour. Uh, do not expect anything fancy. Most of my bookshelves are floating shelves and they are all over the place. So I will be dividing this uh, bookshelf tour into four exhibits. I hope you will enjoy watching them. And before that, I want to say thank you that apparently this channel has passed 2000 subscribers uh, within less than two months. And this is the ninth video. That's beyond my expectation and I'm truly grateful. I hope you guys will keep on following my journey on booktube. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, enjoy. All right, let's begin the bookshelf tour. Uh, let's start from here. This is the first law trilogy by Joe Abercrombie. The first book is The Blade Itself. The second book is Before They Are Hanged. The third book is Last Argument of Kings. And next, we have the standalone trilogy that takes place in the same world as the first law. Uh, it's best served called The Heroes and then Red Country. And on the right of Red Country, we have Sharp Ends. This is a collection of short stories and novellas that takes place in the same world as First Law universe. On the top, we have A Little Hatred. This is the first book in the Age of Madness trilogy, the newest trilogy that again takes place in the same world as the First Law. Uh, it, it, this is one of my favorite Grim Dark series, maybe my favorite actually, and truly incredible. Uh, I don't have the trouble with peace yet. Moving on. To the right of Shop Ends, we have Master of Sorrows by Justin Cole. And then to the right of Master of Sorrows, we have The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, The Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss, and The Soul of Regard of Silent Things by Patrick Rothfuss. This is the King Killer Chronicle trilogy, and at the top, we have The Name of the Wind, the 10th Anniversary Edition, with illustrations by Dan Dos Santos. You, you probably know about it, but yeah, this is one of my favorite series of all time. And to the right of the slow regard of silent things is The Gentleman Bastards by Scott Lynch. The first book is The Lies of Locke Lamora. The second book is Red Seas and the Red Skies. The third book is The Republic of Thieves. And at the end of this bookshelf is uh, The Traitor Sun Cycle by Miles Cameron. The first book is The Red Knight. The second book is The Fell Sword. The third book is The Dreadworm. The fourth book is A Plague of Swords. And the fifth book is The Fall of Dragons. At the top of it is The Kingdom of Liars by Nick Martell. As you can see, uh, all of these books are published by Golangs except The Name of the Wind, the 10th Anniversary Edition. Below my Golangs bookshelf is my Brandon Sanderson's, my Robert Jordan, and my George R. R. Martin's collection. Let's start from the left. We have Warbreaker here. At the back is Elantris, 10th Anniversary Edition. And this is the Mistborn Trilogy box set. The first book is Mistborn, the second book is The Well of Ascension, and the third book is The Hero of Ages. After that, we have The Alloy of Law. This is the first book in Mistborn Era 2. And this is Mistborn Secret History. I was going to put this at the top shelf along with the other Golang's books that I own, but I thought uh, it would be better if it's together with my Sanderson's collection. And on the right of Miss Bourne's Secret History, we have Shadows of Self. This is the continuation to the Alloy of Law. And then we have the Bands of Mourning. The Alloy of Law, Shadow of Self, the Bands of Mourning are Miss Bourne Era 2, and I'm waiting for Lost Medal. And after that, we have Miss Bourne, the Dragon Steel Edition. My co bloggers got this for me uh, on my birthday, and I'm truly, truly grateful for this one. It's one of, my, one of the most beautiful books that I own. And next, we have Arcanum Unbounded, the Cosmic Collection. Look, it's Doomslock. I got this one when my friends bought this for me. It's, uh, it came along together in the package. Look how scary. Terrifying smile, huh? Uh, to the right of Arcanum Unbounded is the Stormlight Archives by Brandon Sanderson. The first book is The Way of Kings, the second book is Words of Radiance, and the third book is Oathbringer. And at the top, there is a Warbreaker art by Dan Dando Santos. It's so beautiful. Look at it. Yeah, so beautiful. And moving on to the right of Oldbringer, we have a Memory of Light, two of them, by Robert Jordan and Brandon Sanderson. And next we have Warrior of the Altai. The, the publisher was kind enough to send this to me uh, to review, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. Hopefully not too long from now. And at the end of this bookshelf is my George R. R. Martin's collection. First we have Fire and Blood, then A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms, then we begin the main series, 
uh, Game of Thrones, and the second book is A Clash of Kings. This is the 20th anniversary edition, and, and I'm waiting for A Storm of Swords to come out next month. At the back is The World of Ice and Fire. So this is how the shelf look like. And below that, we have this little section where my books are on shelf, but I think they fit nicely here. Uh, starting from the left is The Martian, and then The Grey Bastards by Jonathan French. And on the right of The Grey Bastards is The God King's Legacy by Richard Nell. And after that, we have uh, Solace Loss and Wisdom Loss by Michael Slither. This is the Pandemonium Rising series. On the right of uh, Wisdom Loss is uh, Paternos Trilogy. The first book is Paternos Rise of Gods, the second book is Paternos Wrath of Gods, and the third book is Paternos War of Gods by Dirk Ashton. And, and on the right of Paternos is uh, Beyond Redemption by Michael Fletcher. Beyond Redemption is in fact the first signed book that I've ever owned. And on the top of this pile is The True Bastards by Jonathan French. Uh, this is the second book uh, in The Lotlands, the sequel to The Grey Bastards. And moving back here, uh, after Beyond Redemption, we have The Mirror's Truth. Both Beyond Redemption and The Mirror's Truth uh, is the Manifest Delusion series, one of my favorite grimdark series, and I hope Michael Fletcher will continue it one day. On the right of The Mirror's Truth, we have my Rob J. Hiss collection. Uh, the first one is Where Loyalties Lie, and then the second one is The Fifth Empire of Men. This is the best laid plans duology, and on the right of this is Never Die. I absolutely love this book, and I just show, uh, I just hosted the cover reveal to the sequel uh, yesterday. You guys should check it out. It's beautiful. Uh, on the right of Never Die is Sand in the Sense and Arm of the Sphinx by Josiah Bancroft. Uh, this is the Books of Babel, and this, uh, these two are the self-published edition. And we're almost at the end. On the right of Arm of the Sphinx is Divinity's Twilight uh, Rebirth by Christopher Russell. And after that, we have Aragon by Christopher Paulini, and finally, The Witchwood Crown by Ted Williams. Now this, this little section look like this. And now we move on to the right of my George R. Martin's collection. It is my floating bookshelves. This is pretty much my Steven Erickson collection. Let's start from the top. It is my Malazan Book of the Fallen, one of my favorite series. The first book is Gardens of the Moon. The second book is Death House Gates. The third book is Memories of Ice. The fourth book is House of Chains. The fifth book is Midnight Tides. The sixth book is The Bone Hunters. The seventh book is Reaper's Gale. The eighth book is Tall the Hounds. The penultimate book in the series is Dust of Dreams. And the tenth and final book is The Crippled God. And below The Crippled God is the Karkhanas trilogy. This is the prequel trilogy to the Malazan Book of the Fallen. The first book is Forge of Darkness. The second book is Fall of Light. One of the most complex series of all time and one of the greatest. And on the right of my Steven Erickson's collection is my John Gwynn's collection. Uh, do you know how much I love John Gwynn's books? He is, uh, he's one of my top favorite authors. Let's start from the top here. Uh, this is A Time of Blood. Uh, this is the physical arc edition. And then we move on to the beginning of the Faithful and the Fallen Quartet. The first book is Malice. The second book is Valor, the third book is Ruin, and the fourth and final book in this quartet is Red. And below Red, we begin of Blood and Bone Trilogy. The first book is A Time of Dread. I have two of these because uh, this one is the Advanced Reading Copy Edition, and this one is the Goldsboro Hardcover Edition. And the second book in the trilogy is A Time of Blood, and the final book is A Time of Courage. And the final shelf on this exhibit is my Brian's bookshelf. <laughs> Apparently there are a lot of Brian's writing fantasy books, guys. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's start from the top. This is the Powder Mage Trilogy by Brian McClellan. The first book is Promise of Blood. The second book is The Crimson Campaign. The third book is The Art of Republic. And next we have The Gods of Blood and Powder Trilogy. This is, this, uh, this is the trilogy that takes place after this one. Uh, the first book is Sins of Empire. The second book is Wrath of Empire and the third book is Blood of Empire. And then below Blood of Empire we have War Cry, again by Brian McClellan, but this one doesn't take place in the same world as his Powder Mage series. Below War Cry is The Bart's Blade by Brian D. Anderson, and below The Bart's Blade we have The Blood of an, Ex Blood of an Exile by Brian Aslund, and finally below Blood of an Exile is my Chronicle of the Unhewn Throne trilogy. 
The first book is the Emperor's Blades, the second book is the Providence of Fire, and the third book is the Last Mortal Bone. And below the Last Mortal Bone, this is the end of this bookshelf, is Skull Swan. And this is the end of Exhibit 1, this is how everything looked like in full. And moving on to the second exhibit of my bookshelf tour, here we have the second uh, here we have my sci-fi floating bookshelves. At the top is the Remembrance of Earth's Past trilogy by Qixin Liu. The first book is The Three Body Problem, the second book is The Dark Forest, and the third book is Death's End. And below that is the Red Rising Saga by Pierce Brown. Uh, the first book is Red Rising, the second book is Golden Sun, and the third book is Morning Star. It was originally a trilogy, but then it got extended into another trilogy. And the fourth book is Iron Gold, the fifth book is Dark Age, and below that, we have Red Rising, the Barnes & Noble edition. Uh, my best friend got me this one when uh, he was in USA last year, and I'm truly grateful because this is my number one favorite sci-fi series of all time. And on the right of this bookshelf, we have another floating shelves. Starting from the left is Dead Note All-in-One edition. Uh, this one is actually the entire Dead Note manga series contained into one. Yeah, exactly, it's 2000 pages long, and it contained the entire manga series. On the right of that note, we're going back to the uh, to the novel sections. The first one here is uh, The Children of Hurin by uh, Tolkien. And then the, on the right is Beren and Luthien from, uh, by Tolkien. On the right of Beren and Luthien is the beginning of my Robin Hobbs bookshelf. The first one here is The Inheritance. This is a, co uh, a collection of short stories and novellas written by Robin Hobb and Megan Lindholm, which is uh, the same person, by the way. And after that, uh, we have the P Wilfro Princess and the Piebald Prince. This is the prequel to the entire Realm of Elderlings series. And now we can begin the Realm of Elderlings. The first trilogy in the entire series is the Farsi trilogy. And the first book is the Assassin's Apprentice. The second book is Royal Assassin. And the third book is Assassin's Quest. And after that uh, is the second trilogy in the series. Uh, it is the Ship of Magic, the Mad Ship, and then Ship of Destiny, which is the Life Ship Traders. And the third trilogy in the Realm of Elder Link series is the Tawny Man trilogy. The first book is Fool's Errand, the second book is The Golden Fool, and the third book is The Fool's Fate. And then the fourth series in the Realm of the Elder Links is the Rainwild Chronicles Quartet. The first book is Dragon Keeper, the second book is Dragon Haven, the third book is City of Dragons, and the fourth book is Blood of Dragons. I'm not a huge fan of this quartet, but thankfully what comes after this one is the fifth and the final uh, series in the Realm of the Elderlings. It's in my opinion one of the best trilogy of all time. It, it is the fifth and the full trilogy. The first book is Fool's Assassin, the second book is Fool's Quest, and the third and final book is Assassin's Fate. And at the end of this shelf we have the Assassin's Apprentice Illustrated Edition and Royal Assassin Illustrated Edition. I won Royal Assassin in a giveaway that hosted by my friend Cassidy. Thank you so much, Cassie. I will take some pictures of this one and show it to you guys soon. So this is how my second exhibit looked like. There's a jigsaw puzzle of Slam Dunk and Attack on Titan at the top. And now we've arrived at the third exhibit of my bookshelf tour. And starting from the left of my top shelf is Fate of the Fallen by Calcate. And then after that we have a memory called Empire by Arkady Martin and then The Unspoken Name by A.K. Lockwood, and then The Ruin of Kings by Jane Lyons, The Name of All Things by Jane Lyons. Uh, this is a Chorus of Dragons series, I don't have the third book yet. And after The Name of All Things, we have the Thieves of Fate series. Uh, the first book is The Nine, and the second book is The Fall by Tracy Townsend. I won these two books uh, from a giveaway hosted by Fantasy Book Critic. And on the right of The Fall, we have The Monster of Elon Haven by Jennifer Giesbrecht. And after that, we have the unspoken name again. Uh, this is the physical arc. And at the most right is Realm of Ash by Tasha Suri. Moving on below, uh, we have a little orbit book section. Starting from the left is The Wolf of Oren Yaro by K.S. Viloso. And after that, we have The Green Bone Saga by Fondali. The first book is Jade City. The second book is Jade War. And after that, we have The Broken Artillery by N.K. Jemisin. The first book is the fifth season, the second book is the Obelisk Gate, and the third book is the Stone Sky. And to the right of the Broken Earth trilogy is the Imperial Raj trilogy by Anne Leckie. The first book is Ancillary Justice, the second book is Ancillary Sword, and the third book is Ancillary Mercy. 
and to the right of Ancillary Mercy is the 10,000 Doors of January by Alex, uh, by Alex Harrow. And at the most right is the, uh, is the Bone Shot Daughter by Andrea Stewart. This is the first book in the Jowning Empire. And moving on. Starting from the left is the Poppy War Trilogy by R.F. Kuang. Uh, it's the Poppy War Advanced Reading Copy Edition, and then again the Poppy War, and then the Dragon Republic. On the right of the Dragon Republic is In Order to Live by Yon Mi Park. On the right of In Order to Live is Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. And on the right of Station Eleven begins my Devin Madsen collection. First we have the Vengeance Trilogy. Uh, the, the first book is The Blood of Whisperers, the second book is The Gods of Vice, and the third book is The Grave at Storm's End. And on the top of this pile we have In Shadows We Fall by Devin Madsen, and on the top of In Shadows We Fall is The Sword of Kaigen, a Theonite War Story by M. L. Wang, one of my favorite books of all time. And speaking of one of my favorite books, To the Right of the Grave at Storm's End, We Ride the Storm is also one of my favorite books. Uh, this is the self-published edition. I recently received the traditionally published edition, but I haven't put it on the shelf yet. On the right of We Ride the Storm is The Wolf of Orenyaro by K.S. Viloso. This is the self-published edition. And on the right of The Wolf of Orenyaro is The Blood of Airs by Alicia Von Stahlberg. And finally, we, at the most right, we have Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. And moving on to the final column of this bookshelf. Uh, starting from the left first, we have The Lock Tomb Trilogy by Tam Zinwer. Uh, the first book is Gideon the Ninth, and then the sequel, Harrow the Ninth. On the right of Harrow the Ninth is my Saga Press collection. Uh, the first we have The Paper Managery and Other Stories by Ken Liu, and on the top of this pile we have The Only Good Indians by Stephen Graham Jones. Below The Only Good Indians is The Five Warrior Angels by Brian Lee Durfee. The first book is The Forgetting Moon, the second book is The Blackest Heart. And below The Blackest Heart is The Dandelion Dynasty by Ken Liu. The first book is The Grace of Kings, and the second book is The Wall of Storms. The Dandelion Dynasty has been on my TBR for 3 years, uh, and next year it will be 4 years. I am very much looking forward to this one, and after seeing the cover reveal of the third book, The Veiled Throne, wow, it's so gorgeous guys. You get, uh, If you haven't seen it, you have to see it. One of the best cover art I've ever seen. Uh, Sam Weber, one of my favorite artists, did an amazing job on this, and I am very much looking forward to reading this series next year. So the third exhibit of my bookshelf tour pretty much looked like this, and now we move on to the final one. And now we've come to the fourth and final exhibit of my bookshelf tour. This one, <laughs> uh, this is probably the only proper bookshelf that I own. Uh, there is an external and internal shelf. Uh, we'll start from the external one first. It is my Mark Lawrence collection. Starting from the top left is uh, the Broken Empire trilogy. Uh, the first book is Prince of Thorns, the second book is King of Thorns, and the third book is Emperor of Thorns. And below Broken Empire is the Red Queen's War trilogy. The first book is Prince of Fools, the second book is The Liar's Key, and the third book is The Wheel of Orsheim. And below that is the Book of the Ancestor trilogy. The first book is Red Sister, the second book is Grey Sister, and the third book is Holy Sister. And at the right is The Girl and the Stars, the first book in the Book of the Eyes trilogy. And on the inside shelf, at the most left is Hollywood Park by Michael Jollett. And after that, we have The Traitor Baru Komoran by Seth Dickinson. And on the right of it is The Monster by Seth Dickinson. This is actually the same as The Monster Baru Komoran. In the UK, it's named as The Monster. Uh, I don't know why that happened. And after the monster, we have The Children of Ruin by Adrian Tchaikovsky, and then The Doors of Eden by Adrian, Ty Adrian Tchaikovsky. And this is the Physical Arc edition. And on the right of The Doors of Eden is The Last Emperor by John Scalzi. This is the third book in the Interdependency trilogy, and I haven't read this one, Goodreads gave it to me. On the top of this stack is Shadow and Betrayal by Daniel Abraham. This is the first and second book in the Long Price Quartet. And after that, we have The Price of War. This is uh, the third and fourth book in the Long Price Quartet. Below The Price of War is Dragon Slayer by Duncan Hamilton. And below that is The Knight of the Silver Circle, uh, the second book in the Dragon Slayer trilogy, I think. Below Knight of the Silver Circle is the Jean Lo Flambe trilogy by Hanu Rajaniemi. The first book is The Quantum Thief, the second book is The Fractal Prince, and the third book is The Causal Angel. This is by far the most difficult sci-fi series I've ever read. And after The Causal Angel, we have The Children of Ruin, again. This is the, this is the hardcover edition by Adrian Tchaikovsky, and finally The Warship by Neil Asher. 
And moving on below, uh, on the outside shelf, we have the, my little historical fiction collection. Starting from the top left is the Winter, uh, is the Warlord Chronicles trilogy by Bernard Cornwell. Amazing historical fiction series, and I highly, highly recommend you to give this a go. Uh, the first book is The Winter King, the second book is Enemy of God, and the third book is Excalibur. And below Excalibur, we have Lancelot by Giles Christian, and then Camelot by Giles Christian. Again, another amazing uh, historical fiction series. Below Camelot is Gates of Fire by Stephen Pressfield, and after that, we have the uh, Troy trilogy by David Gamble. The first book is Lord of the Silver Bow, and the second book is Shield of Thunder, and the third book is Fall of Kings. And over here, we have Nottingham by Nathan McCarrick. Moving on to the inside shelf, uh, at the left is Foundry Sight and Shortfall by Robert Jackson Bennett. This is the Founders Trilogy, a trilogy that I really love and I'm looking forward to the third book, hopefully next year. And then after that, we have The Painted Man, uh, the Illustrated Edition by Peter V. Brett. And this one, uh, Prepare for the Final Descent into Darkness, this is actually the core. The fifth book in the Demon Cycle series by Peter V. Brett. This is the Physical Arc Edition, a gorgeous edition. And on the right of the core is the Divine Cities Trilogy by Robert Jackson Bennett. The first book is City of Stairs, the second book is City of Blades, and the third book is City of Miracles. After that we have Vigilance by Robert Jackson Bennett, and then The Test by Sylvain Newville. And then your favorite band cannot save you by Scott Moore. And then Riot Baby by Tochi Onyebuchi. And after that is the Sacred Throne Trilogy by Michael. The first book is The Armored Saint, the second book is The Queen of Crows, and the third book is The Killing Light. And at the end of the shelf is The Remains of the Day by Kazuo Ishiguro, and finally Shogun by James Clavels. And moving on below at the outside shelf, uh, first we have The Keeper's Trilogy by David Dalglish. The first book is Soul Keeper, and the second book is Ravencaller. Below that we have The Dracon is Memoria Trilogy by Anthony Ryan. The first book is The Waking Fire, the second book is The Legion of Flame, and the third book is The Empire of Ashes. Below The Empire of Ashes we have The Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter. This is the physical arc. And below that is The Wolf's Call by Anthony Ryan. This is the first book in the Raven's Blade duology. And over here we have Bloodsong, the first book in the Raven's Shadow. And on the right, again, is The Wolf's Call. This is the ARC edition published by Ace. And on the inside shelf, first we have Dark Matter and Recursion by Black Crouch on the left. And after that, we have The Books of Babel by jo Josiah Bancroft. First we have Arm of the Sphinx and then The Heart King. After that is The Lightbringer series by Bran Wicks. The first book is The Black Prism. The second book is The Blinding Knife. The third book is The Broken Eye. The fourth book is The Blood Mirror. And then finally, The Burning White. And on the top, we have Guy Garville Case Tigana and <laughs> Son Goku Pencil Sharpener. And at the most right, it's Legacy of Ash by Matthew Ward. And moving on to the final section of my bookshelves tour, I'm gonna start from the outside shelf first. At the most left, first we have the Expand series by James S. Corey. The first book is Leviathan Wakes, the second book is Caliban's War, the third book is Abaddon's Gate, the fourth book is Cibola Burn, the fifth book is Nemesis Games, the sixth book is Babylon's Ashes, the seventh book is Persepo is Rising, and the eighth book is Tiamat's Red. And moving on to the right stack, starting from the top is The Last Smile in Sandra City by Luke Arnold, and then the sequel, The Dead, uh, Dead Man in a Ditch. And below that is the Wounded Kingdom trilogy by R.J. Barker. The first book is The Age of Assassins, the second book is Blood of Assassins, and the third book is King of Assassins. And after that we have the first book in the Tide Child trilogy by again R.J. Barker. This is The Bone Ships. And below the bone ship is the band uh, trilogy by Nicholas Imes. The first book is Kings of the Wild, the second book is Bloody Rose. Absolutely amazing series, and I cannot wait for the third book to come out. And below Bloody Rose is The Shadow Saint by Gareth Hanrahan. This is the second book in the Black Iron Legacy, and the first book is The God of Prayer. And over here, we have A Boy and His Dog at the End of the World by C.A. Fletcher. And again, The God of Prayer, I got double because uh, of miscommunication. And this is the final part of my bookshelf tour. Starting from the top left is the Cemetery of Forgotten Books by Carlos Ruiz Zafong. The first book is The Shadow of the Wind. The second book is The Angel's Game. The third book is The Prisoner of Heaven. And then the fourth and final book is The Labyrinth of Spirits. And below that uh, is The Great Coats Quartet by Sebastian de Castle. The first book is Traitor's Blade. The second book is Night Shadow. The third book is Saint's Blood. And then 
On the right is the fourth and final book, Tyrant's Throne. And then we have the Lycanius trilogy by James Islington. The first book is The Shadow of What Was Lost. The second book is An Echo of Things to Come. And the third book is The Light of All That Falls. And finally, at the end, is Dark Dawn, the third book in Evernight trilogy by J. Christoph. And this is how this section of my bookshelves tour look like. And that's the end of my bookshelf tour. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about them. And I'm sorry if the quality of the video isn't as good as uh, you expected. This is my first bookshelf tour and I will do it again one day in the future if I uh, move places or have a new bookshelf. Uh, well, that's it from me today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I'm so grateful for your support. Bye-bye. Uh,